Let's take a live look over to Coma now as we're talking about a pretty chilly weekend. We're wrapping up a sunny day, but that sunshine cannot fool you because we're expecting to read temperatures below freezing this weekend. Meteorologist Leah Pizzetti is joining us now to talk more about what we can expect with these cold temperatures through the Thanksgiving holiday. Right, Madison. Yeah, so we have more uh, active weather heading our way later on this week as we head toward Thanksgiving. But I do want to point out some of these observed lows that we've already been tracking. So this is uh, what we've already seen today. So our low temperatures for today, which we felt early this morning. Look at this Olympia low last night. So early this morning was 18 degrees. Already we broke a record yesterday. So yesterday's low for Olympia was 17 degrees today. Once again, that 18 we're tying and breaking records both days because of just how cold it is at night. Seattle sitting right at freezing this morning, 32 degrees early this morning. And then as we head over to the each east, look at that. Oh my goodness. Single digit temperatures is what we felt early this morning. We are expecting these overnight lows to warm up gradually in the next couple of days, but we are going to still see freezing temperatures for tonight. So these are our current temperatures right now. Now that our sun is going down, we're going to see these temperatures continuing to drop down. So Seattle sitting at 41 degrees, Renton 42, Tacoma 43 right now, but we're seeing a lot of 30s on the map already, and I am expecting these temperatures to drop pretty rapidly here into the next couple of hours. Look at these overnight lows, a little bit warmer than what we felt last night. So we will see temperatures above freezing for some areas, but I do think Seattle will get right down to freezing once again, and we will see lows in the 30s once again. But like I said, in these next couple of nights, we're going to see those overnight lows warming up gradually. So we'll get to that in your seven day forecast. But look at this for Seattle. I'm expecting another dry day tomorrow. Hopefully you enjoy these clear blue skies today because I think this will be the last day of completely clear blue skies. We're going to start to bring back some cloud coverage. That's going to be a sign of what's to come because in the next couple of days we are bringing back rain chances. So for tomorrow, like I said, going to uh, cool down to about freezing in those early morning hours. We're warming up to around that 50 degree mark for tomorrow, but we're going to bring back some cloud coverage tomorrow. That's a sign of what's to come. Highs for tomorrow, pretty close to what we felt today. So upper 40s into those low 50s, still a touch cooler than that seasonal norm, uh, but temperatures are going to be warming up ever so slightly. Let's time out what we're expecting as far as rain. So into tomorrow, uh, like I said, we're going to see a little bit of cloud coverage start to pull into the region by tomorrow evening spot body showers. It's looking like really for the Olympic Peninsula. That's about it. Then the next big push for rain is looking to arrive early Tuesday morning. Look at that. You can see uh, that's our big push for rain. We could see spotty showers ahead of that. So taking a closer look at Western Washington into tomorrow morning, it's looking like it's going to be a mix of clouds and sunshine clouds building throughout the day by tomorrow evening. That's when we're going to start to see some spotty showers. Like I said, favoring the Olympic Peninsula. Then into Monday evening, that's going to be the first really big push by Tuesday morning. We're really going to see that widespread rain once again. It's going to feel like Seattle once again, Tuesday evening turning to moderate rain. Also with this, we're going to see winds picking up as well. So I'm expecting gusty conditions Monday into Tuesday as well. Next seven days, it's looking like Tuesday is the driest day or the wettest day of the week. Come Wednesday and into the holiday spotty showers linger. But like I said, Tuesday should be the wettest day of the week. Madison. All right.